let's look at time zones. So here I declared a date time, which is fine. But let's say I want to add a time zone to this. I can't. I can, however, do it if I use date time offset. This allows me to add this little piece at the end without getting an error. I can also do it by declaring a date time and then saying to date time offset. So that will add this little time zone in there. You'll notice the time doesn't change, it just get the time zone. In the previous video we did date time from parts. So we gave it a year, month, day, hour, minute, second, millisecond and then how many decimals we want for this millisecond. So now if I want to add a time zone to it I'll say date time offset from parts. So again, I'll have my year, my month, my day, hour, minute, second, millisecond, but then I have to add my time zone. And only after that, I can add the decimals. So we got system dates in a previous video, but the system date time offset will add my time zone. The system UTC date time will give me the universal time right now. So as you can see, my time is 8.54 and I'm in plus 2 time zone, so the universal time is 6.54. Lastly, I can declare a time offset with a time zone, and if I want to switch that time zone, I use switch offset and then say which time zone I want in which variable. So that switches this plus to this minus in my result. And that's how you can add time zones to your date time. Look for the link down below for some exercises. Our sponsors help mydatabasesslow.com specializes in making slow databases run faster. Contact them, they may be able to help.